for a busy day in courts across southern Wisconsin. Our Charlotte Deleste tells us about the significant amount of bail set for a Janesville man accused of killing a woman in Wisconsin Dells. But first we start with Brady Mallory in the news center with the latest on the radio DJ accused of possessing child porn. What do we know about that today, Brady? Well, Matthew Jones, who goes by Jackson Jones on the radio, could be out of jail as soon as tonight, but he may also face new charges of human trafficking. That was a conversation during his first court appearance this afternoon. According to a criminal complaint, Jones is accused of having at least one image of child porn. He told detectives he used the site's Tumblr and Wicker for sex chats and fantasies and would pretend to be other people while online. Jones said he would often like or reshare a variety of images on the site. An assistant D for Dane County says Jones also offered to traffic two children during those chats. Jones' defense says that it's all just fantasy talk and argues his client didn't actually commit that crime. He's engaged in this conversation. He admitted to the police he was engaged in this conversation. Um, it, may, it may be fantasy in his mind. I don't know if he was willing to actually do this, but it went farther than someone uh, making up fictitious uh, identities on the internet. He doesn't have one piece of evidence to say that Mr. Jones was intending to do anything other than talk about it. And I had a kind of chuckle when we're talking about all of the images that the agent claims he found in that complaint, something like 1,200. According to the complaint, Jones admitted to receiving nude images of underage girls from other Tumblr users. He told detectives one user sent him 10 images over the course of two months. The images typically featured school-aged girls. His attorney argued that Jones did not ask for these images during Friday's initial hearing. A judge says Jones can't have any contact with minors and no access to the Internet. And Jackson is no longer listed on Q106.3's website. We've contacted the station for comment, but haven't heard back yet.